What's going on guys? Welcome back to part 16 of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. If you missed out on part 15, make sure you go check it out. We invested in another business and we're going to have a talk about if it was a good idea to do so. I pretty much spent all my money that I had into this business. But like I said, we'll talk about that in a second. We're just going to jump straight back into the campaign. I hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you do, make sure you smash a like. Hit that subscribe button if you are new, and let's jump into some more GTA San Andreas. Alright guys, so welcome back to San Fierro. We're going to hit it once again. We are wearing the Franklin outfit once again. We're sitting with $3,962 in the bank, and we've got a few missions that we can do today. In Zero, the person that we did invest in the new business, we've got Woolsey, and we also have that blue skull there in Jizzy, the pimp. So we met a couple of new characters last episode. We met T-Bone, the big buff. You know, Mr. I'm an arsehole. And then we've got the little scrawny pimp that just pretty much talks shit. But today, we're going to do our first mission with Zero. We invested a lot of money into his property, and it was $30,000. Now, the thing was, when I invested into this property, I thought it might be a good idea to do so because we might be able to make some money in the long run. But you can see, by doing that, all we've done is unlocked missions. We don't have a little icon sitting there that we can go pick up money. So this could be a big mistake. But anyway... We're going to get into this first mission of the day with zero RC and see if we can do this mission and get some, get at least a bit of money back, at least a little bit. Hey Z, where you at? Go away, Carl. I'm I'm very very busy back here. Top top secret stuff, not for your eyes. Too sensitive. Come on, homie, where are you? I said go away, Carl. I don't need any friends today. Thank you. <laughs> then nip some pretty strong draws. Yes, my hero. Carl, he came back and humiliated me. I shall probably turn to prostitution now, where I will be found dead and broken. I am a 28-year-old man whose landlord just helped him down from a hook from which I had been hanging from my underwear, contemplating my inadequacy for nearly two hours. Ow! My crack. Look, you gotta get even, homie. What kind of weapons you got? Uh, I've got a prototype of a miniature plane. Huh, <laughs> well with that plane, we gonna go humiliate Burke. Mm. Okay, cool. <laughs> Man, this is ridiculous. That went right up my crack. Berkeley has his sycophantic lackeys do all his deliveries. Well, we shall hit him where it hurts the most. Bring his mail order model business to its knees. Oh my god, like I said, I invested in this guy's business, into his house. He said something in the cutscene that stuck out to me. I'm his landlord, and now I'm flying. I don't even know what to do. Alright, so, I just, I've never flown something before. What am I meant to do? Alright, so I'm just going to try and just kill these guys. Oh my god. Did I kill him? Alright, that's actually not too bad. Okay, so we've got to kill some of these carriers. Alright, just... I think if we like fly over buildings, all right, so we've got a fuel meter, so I'm just gonna keep watching that meter. All right, just try and just not crash this thing because I assume if we crash this thing, it's all over. Okay, so getting this thing to hit the ground is actually a good idea and like trying to line it up like this, wait for him to run past, wait for it. And oosh! There we go, look at this. All right, he's trying to make a run for it and he's on the ground and okay, nicely done. All right, so we've got a couple more to get to. So I'll make my way over in the northeast direction now, and we'll see there's two carriers to take out there. Our fuel hasn't even gone down a little bit, but this is what I'm saying. This guy's business, you can see it right there. Zero RC, cost me 30 grand. Ellie there, don't crush it now. Don't crush it now. All right, so we've got to land it, and then just try and, just be careful. Careful, 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 land it. That's pretty good, we've done well, we've done very well. All right, spin it round. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. All right, here we go. There's a the van. Line it up. And douche! All right, it's moving around. Don't let him get away. Don't let him get away. There we go. Two to go. All right, like I said, we've got to keep watching this fuel meter right now. Just don't crash this plane now. We've done well so far. All right, we've got to go make our way back now. Two to go. The thing is, I remember this mission. I remember when I did this mission a long time ago, maybe eight or years ago, you know, and this mission was hell. Every single time, if you like touch the plane on the ground, it would explode. The fuel would run out right at the last minute. You'd get shot down, you'd get hit by a car. Oh man, it just brings back so much nostalgia this game. So I'm saying, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, make sure you smash a like and hit that subscribe button if you are new. Ready? Fuss, 
fools. Alright, there's a couple of people just... It's just a normal plane. Look how slow they're travelling. No. Alright, look at them, look at them. <laughs> Ready? Full shoot door! There we go. Alright, he's trying to get away this one, so we've got to try and chase him down. This is what I'm worrying about. There we go, they're gone. There we go, one to go, one to go. When that guy in the back turned around and started shooting me, I thought, oh my god, what have I done? I definitely should have gone to this one after I killed the two first at the start and left these two out in the northeast direction last. But we're coming up towards him right now. And the thing is, you don't have an actual, like, a little icon that shows you where your bullets are going. So that's why you've got to sort of try and play it safe by landing it on the ground. Okay, target's been spotted. Target's locked. Land it. Land it. And Ogun! And we are done. No. No. There it is. It's on fire. This girl is on fire. All right. Now we've got to get our thing back in one piece. Fly back to Zero's roof. We've done that so well. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to have to say it. We've done this so, so well. But we aren't home yet. We aren't home yet. There's the guy we've killed right at the start. All right. We're nearly home. We are nearly there. All right. Do I just try and kill these? No, no, no. Don't bring any attention. I was trying to shoot these guys. But I'm just like, nah. Don't bring attention to ourselves. All right. Let's go up. We're almost there, guys. We've done exceptionally well. I am so surprised. We haven't, we haven't even got a scratch. Perfect. Land. Done. Done, no. $5,000. Thank you very much. Woo! And there we go. Just like that, we made $5,000. And there's another mission that we could do for zero. And you know what? We're just going to continue on with it. Let's go. What's happening, Zero? I'm off to engage with destiny, good or bad. What the hell are you talking about now? The hour of judgment is upon me, and I must ask myself if I am a sheep or a goat. Carl, will you be my second? Here are some letters. I've left everything to you in case I don't make it. Please. I already own it. What's wrong with you, man? We are crossing the Rubicon. I am to engage in battle with Berkeley. At stake, honor, and our very lives. It's funny. I've never noticed before how beautiful this time of year can be. I may never again see Rome in the springtime. <laughs> a butterfly. Come on with all the talking, man. Is you gonna battle Berkeley or what? It's a fight to the death. Come hither. Behold, no man's land. Man, y'all take this shit seriously. Berkeley's headquarters is across no man's land. I'll drive the bandit, you fly the goblin, and help any way you can. If I get the bandit into Berkeley's base, he must leave San Fierro for good. Let battle Oh commence. my. What? 30 grand. And I'm doing this. Your goblin heli... What? What am I meant to be doing? Your goblin helicopter is filled with a magnet. Okay, so I guess I have to try... I hate escort missions. I hate them in every single game. Oh, look, there's a barrel. So I assume I just gotta pick it up and move it. There we go, one barrel and it's gone. Bam, and the barrel's gone. Use the controls to tilt, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we've got seven minutes. Wait, is that Berkeley? No! All right, so he puts little barrels out of the way. Duh! Oh, I drove straight through him. <laughs> All right, so as soon as he drops that. Hey, how you going, man? How you doing? All right, I'll just move this out of the way. There we go. And happy days, okay. So we just try and watch this little car go by. Can you drive any slower? Can you actually drive any slower? This is ridiculous. Still, all right, so what's gonna go? Wait, there's a gap there. Why'd he stop? Why'd he stop? All right, so we've got one of the planks and we've just been told what to do. So you grab these planks and then you plonk them in there and there's also a bomb there. Now drop a bomb on Berkeley's Tigers. Sorry? Is it like a tank? I think it's a tank. Well, I didn't say Berkeley's tanks. It'd just be easy. All right. I can see the tank. You see it right there? Right in that little section there. We've got plenty of time to do this, and there's a few barrels actually still in the way. All right, there we go. Drop that down. There, that's gone, and I'll pick up this barrel. All right, now we've got another barrel. We'll move that out of the way. There we go. There's another barrel in the way. He's dropping more barrels, so we're just going to get him and just move him. It's just plain and simple. It's just very repetitive. There we go. Ooh, there we go. Alright, there's another gap there, so I'll go back and I'll get another plank, and then I'll chuck another plank there, and I saw a tank at the end as well, so I'm going to make two trips, I'm going to grab a bomb, destroy that tank at the end, see, the oh shit, alright, now maybe I'll have to grab this bloody first, I'll grab the bomb first, alright, there we go, so our bandit's at half health, now I'll go back and get 
another little bridge. All right, so now we've got to get another plank and put it back in this area. We've got a few more barrels to take out and one more tank, and this should be home. We've got plenty of time. We've got four minutes. The only thing I'm worried about is this bloody tank. It's the tank I'm worried about. All right, there we go. You go across. All right, so I'm going to go back, and then I'll move your little barrels out of the way. See the tank there? See, I'm doing a good... Yeah, okay! There we go. The tank's out of the way, and now I'll move your barrel. I'm coming. We've got three minutes. Surely you can make it in that time. All right, move this little barrel. There. Oh, shit. Please tell me I moved out of the way. Shit, I didn't move it enough. All right, pick it up again. And drop it. Your bandit is taking damage. Oh my god, I didn't kill the tank. I didn't kill the tank. Shit! I'm gonna go back and get another bomb. I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I'm gonna make my way back. Quick! Oh my god. Don't drive forward. I'm coming! I can't drive any quicker. We're gonna have enough time. I just gotta hit this bomb. This bandit's nearly had it. Stop driving forward. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. And good night. There we go. It should be done. Carl, this bandit's nearly had it. Shush! We're alright, he's just putting the- GET AWAY! Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Alright, we should be done, we oh should be done! Berkeley shot this bandit there we go, we made it! Just! Just! And apparently that saved the world or some shit. We made it! Ah. Woo! And get out of my town! Carl, you were all a duelist like me could want in a second. Sir, I salute you. Just get me out of this place. Asset acquired. That's what we wanted. I thought that's what you'd get right at the start. This property will now generate revenue up to a maximum of $5,000. Make sure you collect it regularly. That's what I thought was going to happen at the start as soon as we bought the property straight away. All right, so we're going to do Woolsey's mission for the last mission of the day. And we're going to see what we have to do. This is the first mission that we're going to do for him. So here we go. Let's pull up in my beautiful little mini. Come on. We're close, puck eye. Easy, man. I'm here to see Woolsey. Oh. Uh, upstairs. Stupid ass motherfucker. Come on, come bro, on, bro. Go. Come ah. on. Go. 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 Come on. You can do it. I'm Johnson. I'm here to see Woolsey. I work with him. Yes, right this way. Uh, you know of the boss's curse? Curse? Nah. He's blind. Blind? But we was just racing cars last week. Yes, I know. He's blessed with unbelievable good fortune. And the triad that would do anything for him? We call him our lucky mole. Alright. I keep that in mind. Good. Woolsey! Hello, Carl. Hey, what's happening, Woolsey? You know, how you doing? Straight to the facts. I can't use your help unless I'm open with you about who I am and what I do. Let me reintroduce myself. I am the boss of the Mountain Plowboys. Nice to meet you. Likewise. So why don't you sit down? As Dai Dai Lo of the Triad, it is my responsibility to see that disputes are settled without uh, damaging important business. Where I come in at? We shall see. I'm about to drop in on a local triad that failed to show face at the last Tong meeting. Come with me, and you'll see how we triad settle things without recourse to unnecessary violence. All right, I'll ride with you. Mine's getting some body work. Alright, don't try. Um, I assume you don't have a car. Okay, uh, well, no, you can't see. Alright, sorry! I need your vehicle. Stop! Get out! Alright, so we. Oh my god. I love how Woolsey can see exactly what he's doing. He just opens the car door, just. Alright, so where are we gonna go? The blood feather. What is that? Oh, it's only around the corner, so that's alright. We're already made it. Sweet. Small time Vietnamese gangs have been making trouble lately. This is a place. Come on, it's this way. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Touched me. Now where's the cop? 
What's he doing? Hey, what the hell are you doing? Oh my god. Just, uh, You're in the wrong business. I'm sorry, man. You shouldn't be doing this stuff. You can't even see. Smack one of them with my shovel. Hey, oh my god. Where they going? Something isn't right. No mercy. Alright, Woolsey, keep going. Oh, you want some, do ya? Take that shit. Hit my shovel. Alright, where's Woolsey gone? Oh shit. The blind man can run. Where's he going? Oh my god. Platform nine and three quarters into that way, mate. Need a hand? <laughs> Please, that had to be in the game, surely. Just like oh my god. The Sorry, boys. Stick. You're not welcome here. We've got business to attend to. Alright, keep going, Woolsey. Ah, we're here. This way. Strange, this gate is usually locked. Stick close. Oh, man. Woolsey. What's got you so spooked? Oh, oh, sorry. Didn't see you lying down there. He's dead. They all are. The blood feathers wiped out? Die, die low. Uh, forgive me. I was too scared to fight, so I hid. Enough. What happened here? Vietnamese surprised us. Cut us all down. Shit! Here they come again! Woozy, stay down! I'll handle this! Oh, this is how we do it. This is how we do it! Alright, let's get let's take him out. So what are we gonna do? Make our way back or that's how we do it. Alright, oh shit. Oh my god, RPG, get it out. Shit, quick! Hey, too easy! That was sick. Oh my god, there's heaps around this corner. I've just realized. Okay. The old crouch shoot. The old crouch shoot just works a trick. Look at that. The lock on system is a mad one. I might actually get my RPG out again and just shoot down there and just hope. Goodbye! I missed. There we go. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die if I'm not careful. Woolsey needs to help me. Woolsey really needs to help me. I haven't got much health left. Alright, get. Do we have to get out of here? We got more company. You drive. I'll send them back. All right. To shit. 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 Let Woolsey destroy the attacking cars. He can't see. Sorry. All right, Hank. Nah, nah. This ain't right. I have to destroy him. There's no way. Shit. Wrong way. All right. Keep driving. I'll take care of these murderers. Did I do good? All right. Yeah. There we go. Well done, Woolsey. Well done. You killed them all. All right. Now we gotta get back to his place quickly without the cops coming and just ruin. What's the taxi driver doing? Drive Woolsey back to his place. I'm happy with that. It's very, very close. Nice. That's what we like. Here, the token of the Tongs' appreciation for what you did today. <laughs> oh my God! Look at five. You know what? Woolsey pays good, and there is a house very, very close to him. I'm going to see how much it is, and we might actually buy our next property in this new area. Oh my God! All right, I want to see how much this is. Twenty thousand. You know what? Split decisions are the good decisions. Alright, there we go, we got a new property! I nearly died. Alright guys, well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Here's my new house, a uh, very split decision. Look at my health! <laughs> okay? I need a medic. I'm gonna leave it there for part 16. We knocked down two missions for zero. We now can get revenue from that business, what I thought you could do as soon as you bought the business right at the start, but you had to do the missions. And we did our first mission for Woolsey. When we return, we will still be in this apartment trying to recover from our gun wounds, and we'll go back and do our second mission for Woolsey. That will be part 17. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you smash a like, hit that subscribe button if you are new, and then, like I said, I will be out with part 17 very shortly. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.